Hey guys, it's Mike and Lucy. We are at the start of an epic adventure up the uh, coast, uh, starting at Oil City, and we're gonna end up finishing all the way at the tip of Washington, Shai Shai Beach. Um, and we're gonna stay our last night at Point of Arches. So I didn't bring a GoPro on account of the extra weight in the distance. Um, so I'm gonna be filming little stints on my iPhone as we go, and hopefully I can capture some good stuff and document this trip because we were having trouble finding a whole lot of information about this online. So we're hoping to be able to add to that. Um, so anyway, wish us luck. First part of the trail here, uh, leading from the parking lot to the beach at the head of the whole river. Pretty easy walk. It's about half hour, I think, last time we walked it. Hey guys, Michael again checking in. Made it to the ford of the river. We're at the where the uh, whole river meets the ocean. Right there behind me. And this starts probably about a three mile journey up to Jefferson Cove, which is the first place that we're going to stop for the night. We might go up on top of the bluff on a place called the Ho Head, but we'll see. Uh, in an effort to save some batteries, I'm going to probably check in with you guys next when we get to the rocks that are rounding the bend into Jefferson Cove, and I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, talk to you then. Bye. Hey guys, we made it to our first obstacle. We're uh, probably about a mile and a half down the beach, right in front of what they call the Rook. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it is that rock formation uh, right behind me. And right about there, uh, we've reached an impassable spot just because of the tide. We're just gonna hang out here, take a little bit of a break, put on some sunscreen and drink some water. And then uh, as soon as this tide drops, we'll make it around the bend. We reached another spot where we can't get any further on account of the ocean. And we're just gonna relax here for a little while longer. Tide's still going out. And as soon as we can round the bend easily, we'll be in Jefferson Cove. Uh, this will be the last time checking in until we get over to Jefferson Cove and have camp set up. We'll talk to you then. Hey everybody. We made it to Jefferson Cove. We got here a couple hours ago and have been hanging out and enjoying the water and um, cooking some dinner, waiting on our rice. Yep, this stuff takes too long. <laughs> anyway, it's beautiful. This is it. And we almost have the whole place to ourselves. We ended up with an awesome neighbor though. Um, and yeah, we're just getting ready to eat some dinner and relax and uh, get ready for our hike in the morning. We're gonna head up over the Hoe Head and over across Mosquito Creek and then end up somewhere way down the beach down there. So we'll uh, show you what it looks like when we're headed over the um, rope ladder in the morning and then uh, try to get you something maybe on top of the bluff. And then we'll see you again in Mosquito Creek after that. So I hope you guys are having a good night. Real easy walk in here today. We had to wait a couple of times for the tide. Um, but all in all, um, pretty good, pretty good walk. It's nothing to get to this point. Uh, the real challenge is behind us. That's the Ho Head. Uh, it takes a couple hours and a lot of ups and downs in that direction. Uh, Water is really limited in the end of August, so that's something to note. Um, if you guys are coming in here, make sure you stop at every chance you get to fill up water. At the very end of Jefferson Cove, right near the base of the Ho Head, there's a really good flow of um, of water coming off like a creek off the cliff and that's your best bet right now um, everywhere else you're probably going to be digging a hole um, to get water so uh, go to the far end uh, by the ladder and water you will find
Look, Simi's had their coffee. Um, <laughs> just getting ready to hike up over the head. Uh, had a really good night in here last night. Um, a few people came in and kind of camped out along the beach with us. Got us up about four o'clock in the morning when they were leaving, so we are ready to go. And um, on our way over past Mosquito Creek, we're gonna get way far away from everybody so we can get some sleep tonight. To this point, we've walked exactly four miles to get to the base of the hoe head. On the map, it's gonna tell you 2.6, but we know it's four. <laughs> and uh, this is Michael and Lucy signing off. Hey, tide came all the way up into my little wall right there. So can't get any more Oceanside camping than that. It is the infamous ladder. Very nice ladder. Even better view. Look at that. It's Lucy. section pretty easy climb the trails department did a really good job on that ladder it's a good strong cable and if you can climb a ladder you can climb that ladder just kind of switch back back and forth up with a series of ladders and ropes and and trails until you get to the very top and then it starts the up and down up and down up and down going over the hoe head the top of the head looks like we're at the very top it kind of plateaus up here into a forest the trail is pretty good a couple of wet spots there's a lot of little creek beds and stuff that you have to go up and over along this trail and we're doing this nice and early in the morning so the weather's still cool and if you can do the same i would recommend it um, if it was 75 degrees outside this would be miserable and there'd be a lot more bugs <laughs> So after you get over the top of the head, you start kind of coming down into your first, I'll call it a gulch. Um, and you can hear the ocean in the background. It seems like you're getting really close. And the first time that we were uh, hiking this years ago, when we got about to this point, we thought, oh man, is that it? We're headed down the other side and the ocean's right there. And we thought we were at Mosquito Creek and knew we were a long ways to go. <laughs> We've only hit a couple of muddy spots. Um, we timed this trip for this time of year because of the moon cycle and we're hoping to see some bioluminescence at night in these bays. Um, but it worked out great for the rain too. Somewhere up around the corner we've got some ladder systems and stuff to navigate, but that's nice down there. That spot I was talking about where you think you might have made it and there's a nice little cove down there you can access it but it's off trail you got to kind of bushwhack it down to your trail and that's a lot of energy to get down there and back so I just go ahead and bypass this and observe it from afar not mosquito creek Up out of another little creek bed. And it just keeps going and going. To everyone who's ever said there's no right angles in nature. Look at that.
right, so we're nearly four miles into our trek up over the head from Jefferson Cove on our way to Mosquito Creek. And we're just getting ready to drop down into the Mosquito Creek campground. It's overhead trail the entire way from the cove and the beginning of the ladder until you get to Mosquito Creek itself. Uh, Mosquito Creek Camp is on a bluff just above the creek uh, with a view of the water. Um, and we're just going to kind of bypass that and go have a look at the river. Here's the final descent into Mosquito Creek Campground. I'm going to keep this video rolling as we pass on through so you guys can take a look at what it looks like. Camps that way. Rivers this way. I'm not going to backtrack up into the camp, but basically there's about half a dozen sites on top of a bluff over there and uh, you'll definitely want to reserve a spot if that's where you're going to stay. This is uh, one of those quota areas where they only allow so many people in here. We have a permit for here tonight, but we're not necessarily staying in the campground. There's a pro tip for you. This is looking down at the creek and it looks like we're going to have no trouble crossing the river today. Water levels have been really low. You gotta say that this uh, trek over here has been much better than our last one. We were walking through here in one of the wettest, rainiest seasons on record in Washington and the trail had slid out in numerous places and it was like a waterfall just cascading down all these hills and we were literally sliding on our butts down most of the hoe head and by the time we got to Mosquito Creek campground we were like in survival mode just trying to get warm um, we were freezing cold all of our stuff was wet and we were having trouble starting to fire luckily we found some sap on a tree that Lucy pointed out and uh, that was able to get our fire going really quick so um, this time was a cakewalk compared to that still a good amount of energy required to get up and over that head um, even if you're super physically fit just be ready for it and if you're not super physically fit i would dedicate a little bit of treadmill time for you hiking here it'll help you help you out all right guys that's the river that we're looking at there and i'm going to sign off for now and we're gonna go ahead and get across this thing. Maybe even take a little shower while we're here in some fresh water that's deep. And uh, we'll fire up the video again on the other side. Awesome day, still bright and early. Got a long way to go. So here we are for now. So we made it across Mosquito Creek, took a little bit of a break and rehydrated in the river. And right now we're kind of in the middle of the walk between Mosquito Creek and Toliak Point. It's basically all beach from here to Toliak. Um, so this is one of the easier portions of this hike other than maybe Sand Point area. There's a nice big beach like this too. There's a couple others in between, but as far as easy beach walk goes doesn't get much better than that oh no almost got me hey guys mike and lucy again Hi. we've uh, made it to a place to stop and have some lunch and got rehydrated um, we've walked about seven miles so far today and uh, we made it through the uh, beach section that goes between Mosquito Creek and the base of the Overland Trail that heads to Toliak Point. We're probably about a third of a mile from the trailhead to Toliak, and uh, we still got plenty of day left, so I think we're gonna head over the Overland Trail and maybe make it into Toliak. Um, we were originally planning on staying in the Mosquito Creek area, but 
we made such good time going over that trail. There's no point just hanging out for eight hours on the beach. So I think we're gonna make a little bit more progress while we can, because um, as we go, uh, we'll probably need that time somewhere else. So just staying ahead of it and uh, having a good day. Weather couldn't be better. Um, trail has been nice and looking forward to finding a good place to camp on down the road. And we'll take some pictures as we go. Talk to you later. Bye. Made it to the Overland Trail that uh, goes from the beach here uh, at the far end north of Mosquito Creek and heads over the hill to Toliac Point. There's a little keyhole over here through the wall. But the tide is a little bit high up for me to go show it to you without getting my boots wet. Uh, we're going to start taking our way over this hill and about halfway over is Goodman Creek and we're going to check that out and see if there's some good camping in there, a place to swim. And here's the view at the top of the bluff on the over the trail. Dropping into Good Moon Creek. It's about midway across the Overland Trail. Pretty easy walk in here. A little bit of a hike up a hill, but we've been through worse. Really good view of the creek from up here. We're about to head down into that hole, so it's over now. Okay, so we traveled down through to the river and then the trail kind of goes east up the river a little ways until you get to this spot where it brings you down closer to cross up here and there we are good new creek there's where you cross In case you're wondering, uh, Goodman Creek, um, we never have taken the time to kind of walk up and down it to check for campsites. And we were wondering if this would be a good place to camp. And so far um, to the west, there's nothing but a coyote den and a small sand bank and uh, really rocky. So not really a good place to set up a campsite. I would recommend bypassing this unless you need some water and then uh, camping on either side of the Overland Trail. Um, but on another note, there are some great swimming holes up and down this creek, so it's a good place to take a break, cool off if you need to. On the final descent on the Overland Trail, headed to Toliak, and pretty good walk. Once you get to Goodman Creek, you're about halfway there, and uh, it's all uphill until you get to the top of a bluff, then you'll crest over that hill and start headed back down to the ocean and right now we can finally hear the ocean again and that breeze is going to be welcoming. Alright, the last big hill down to the beach over there is Toliak Point and there's that nice beach in between. We're going to finish working our way down this cliff side. I made it back to the beach. We climbed down that last rope. And here we are. This is the beach between the Overland Exit and Toliac Point, which is down that way. But there's a few people down here, not too bad for a Sunday afternoon. So we're going to camp somewhere on this beach, find a spot away from everybody in the cave. And hopefully near some water. And we'll go from there. Hey guys, 
guys, it's Michael. We've been hanging out at camp, trying to beat the heat. Had a really good uh, dinner and some breakfast. And now we're enjoying the sunset. Found a really cool spot and I'm not gonna tell you where it is because some things are just better left kept with the whole world not knowing. Um, but I'm sure you will find this spot or one just as awesome in many places along the route. This is incredible. There's a little hint for you. There's some cliffs over there. There's some rock formations over there. That ought to get you here. Let me show you this little shower that we built over here with our water purifier. Found this nice little stream of water coming out of a hill. And it's been awesome to be able to dip our bag in there and collect water. And then we've got a catadin set up that's gravity fed. And you got a little bench and a little hose. And it puts out okay water pressure. I mean, for being in the woods, this is awesome. And shower with a view. That's what I'm talking about right there. Anyway, time to brush our teeth and relax. I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. It's uh, day three. We're headed to Third Beach today. We're just south of Toliak Point, and we're going to make our way around that way. Uh, Strawberry Point is in between here and there, and a couple other cool stops. We had a great night here last night um, watching whales out here hunting seals off these rocks. There was at least three of them. It was kind of hard to tell what kind of whale we were looking at, but I'm assuming orca, the way they were hunting. And they would sit out on those rocks and wait for the tide to come in to push the seals off the rocks. And they would just, they were holding there for hours waiting for the tide to change. It was pretty amazing. There's otters all in this cove and whole bunch of sea life um, and the best part about this spot was we had it all to ourselves, which was awesome we were able to take the canopy off the tent and saw shooting stars last night and uh, we're still looking for some bioluminescence uh, we saw a glimmer of it but we haven't seen a bunch of it it's likely that when we get more toward uh, Shai Shai Beach that'll increase because the um, the moon is getting less and less as we go. So, and dark is required for that. Anyway, we're excited to see what today brings and uh, check in with everybody along the way and wish us luck. This is Toliak Point. And over in the distance is Strawberry Point. That's where we're heading next. All right, folks, here it is, Strawberry Point. I'm gonna look back at Toliak that way. And then ahead of us is Scott Creek, way off in the distance there. That's where we're gonna stop next. And this stretch right here is easy beach walking, just looking for rocks and shells, found some sea glass. It's been nice and relaxing. It's a um, much needed break from those overhead overland trails. We made it to Scott Creek in record breaking time. Looking over that way is toward Third Beach and La Push. And this is the start of the overland trail coming out of Scott Creek. And there's Scott Creek. Found this cool swing. And then basically this trail just goes straight up that hill. Through the woods and back down over that way. That's the next step of our trip. Probably going to take a little bit of a break here. Enjoy the scenery. And then move along.
fork in the road. This probably goes to a lookout. Indeed it does. Well, we made it to another uh, resting spot and we're still making our way over to Third Beach from the Scott Creek area and we're at the base of this huge staircase that goes all the way up the hill and goes over the other side of that big rock and on the other side of that rock is Third Beach. And if you catch the tide right, you can get in around that point right there and not have to climb up over that cliff. So doesn't need to be a super low tide to get around there just not high tide and you'll be fine get you guys some pictures of that giant staircase on the way up and over and oh man sorry about that I'm looking looking good so we'll see you guys on the staircase and then over on the other side Trails guys have been working hard on this. This has improved a lot over the years. It wasn't always so easy to get over here. And now you got this awesome staircase all the way up to the top. This staircase reminds me of an old computer game. I think it came out in the late 80s called King's Quest. And there was this trail that led down this cliff with this zigzaggy staircase. It's very reminiscent of that. Just dated myself. Little floppy disks. Anyway, this just continues up and up and up. We'll see you at the top. Little, little ladders to go up and over. And then we're almost there. Fun fact camera broke on my probably my iPhone so I'm having to film most of this in selfie mode with my phone turned around backwards so the image quality is gonna be pretty poor but we're still getting it pretty popular trail this section third beach is real easy access to the beach so you're gonna find the most people around third beach and oil city and right in the middle of that a lot less but third beach is going to be one of the most populated spots except for rialto of this entire hike until we get up to sandpoint cape lava area well i got so excited pulling up out of third beach that i forgot to say hi uh, working our way up the third beach trailhead to the push road right now and uh, you can see the ocean behind me there. Just started up about a mile and a half to the parking lot at La Bush Road on top of this. And then, although we were thinking about staying at Third Beach tonight, we're making good progress again. So, probably just going to push on to La Push. And then uh, see if we can barter a ride across the river and uh, start off again in Rialto, see how far we make it today. Hey everybody, we made it over to Rialto Beach. Uh, we got up to the top of that uh, trailhead uh, coming off of Third Beach and got to La Push Road and walked down the road about a mile and a half to a little uh, gas station convenience store 
refueled with a bunch of candy bars <laughs> and some chips and some water and some energy drinks. And then we made our way down into town at the marina and we met the harbor master down there who was cool enough to give us a ride. We gave him a little bit of gas money, uh, but he didn't ask and uh, took us right over near the trail. It, it just saved us like over three miles. Uh, if you add where we were at in town, it probably would have been about four and a half miles that we just cut off because that gentleman was nice enough to give us a ride across the river. So I highly recommend checking in with the Marine office when you um, get down to La Push or if you're making a through trip like us and that'll save you, save you a few miles, which, you know, every ounce counts on a trip this long. So now we are in this circus of people. Uh, we haven't seen this many people since we were back in town. <laughs> Um, there's just a, a ton of people out here on, on Rialto Beach. Um, so if you don't mind the crowd, Rialto might be the place for you. We are going to get as far away from here as possible and then uh, set up uh, camp um, somewhere out there. Uh, we'll see. Uh, we're going to get held up by the tide of Keyhole. And, and uh, maybe we'll make it through there. Maybe we won't. But I'll check in with you guys when we get on down the road. And it was good seeing everybody. All right, we made it through the hole in the wall. We're headed to the and let's see, can you see behind me? Yep, there it is. We're on the other side of it, and we're headed toward the Chelan Memorial. We're just kind of looking for some water and some shade. And not so many people. Rialto's pretty crowded, so we're going to keep on down the trail. And got a little bit of day left ahead of us, so we're going to stop where we can get a drink and probably set up camp and show you guys what that looks like. Hey guys, we made it to camp. Uh, we're about a quarter mile from the Chilean Memorial. It's just around the bend. Sun just went down over that rock, which is nice because we've been blistering it for most of the day. We made a lot of progress today. We went all the way from uh, just south of Toliak Point all the way to where we're at now and uh, walked about 14 miles and took a boat ride. Um, so it was a really long day. Just finished up dinner and um, just gonna rest and recharge and get ready for tomorrow. But we've got this awesome view. Only a couple other people in this entire cove with us. And uh, we're excited to be sitting here and taking a little bit of a break. And uh, also looking forward to what we're going to see tomorrow. So, hope everybody's having a good time and uh, resting and relaxing out there with us. And see you guys in the morning. These videos are going to get a little bit shorter and shorter because I'm running low on batteries. Peace. Morning. It's day four. Um, we're just getting ready to take off over that point around us uh, to the Chilean Memorial, which is less than a half mile away, or probably a quarter mile around the corner. And then we're going to see if we can't get all the way to Cape Alava today. Um, might stop short of Cape Alava somewhere near Sand Point, or we could just go all the way to the Cape. So we'll see how our legs feel when we get there. Cell phone is starting to die in the product that we brought to charge isn't really keeping up so I'm going to keep these short and we'll just give you guys a little bit of uh, this and that along the way so we can try to get you all the way through to the end of where we're going at Shy Shy Beach up near Hillbuck. Good morning everybody so we're uh, pulled up out of camp and uh, just passed by the Chilean Memorial. You can check it out online. Uh, but we're just making our way around this very rocky cove. We had a bunch of seaweed and kelp come in with a really high tide last night and it just covered everything in seaweed. 
so a lot of what we're walking through is pretty slippery every now and then you get a break from it up here on a hill like this so, i think uh next place to check in would be the norwegian memorial so that's uh, ways north of us there's gonna be a whole lot more of this between here and there and we're just gonna slowly make our way up there and see how close we can get to Cape Alava. Uh, I'm not trying to push it too hard. Yesterday we did like 15 miles and we're feeling it. So I'm going to take it slow and see how it goes. It sure is nice out here. So we're about halfway to the Norwegian Memorial from the Chilean Memorial and it's been rock crawling the entire way. Uh, it's just too slippery down there because of all the seaweed that got pushed up. So we're kind of stuck scaling the wall over here and we're in the middle of a tide zone that if you don't get through it quickly, um, or at least on low tide, you're gonna be stuck somewhere in here. So we're making our way across as fast as we can. Hey guys, just wanted to share this with you. It's a awesome cove that we found just before the overhead trail that goes over to the um, Cedar Creek Campground in Norwegian Memorial. And it is awesome in here. There's a really nice beach. And after going through all those rocks and over all that seaweed and everything, it's a welcome relief. Traveled a couple miles today. It's real slow moving over the rocks, but now we're cruising down through here. And uh, I'm definitely going to take the time to come back here and probably stay in this cove. I'm not going to name the cove because I don't want it to turn into the next Rialto Beach. But if you're walking through here and you're seeing the same rocks that we are, you have found paradise. This is halfway up and down one of the overhead um, trails that you have to take over this uh, big rock for me. And just down that way is going to be the Norwegian Memorial. We made it to Cedar Creek. A bit of a ghost town here. I haven't seen anybody camped in here yet. Um, just a bunch of garbage in the woods, really. This is what Cedar Creek Camp looks like. I think a whole bunch of humans have been in here. Here's the beach. And the gravel. And more junk. Nice some fire pits. No burning this time. Because it's too dry. Hey, I might have shortchanged Cedar Creek a little bit. We walked a little further north and found a better section of camp with a lot lower bank to the beach. And some folks made some little uh, rope scenes and stuff in there. So we're just trying to get around that point in the distance before the tide comes in. It might be too late. If so, we're going to have to climb over another mountain. And I would rather avoid that if I can. Well, we've been zigzagging back and forth through this uh, section for a while. We're at the Norwegian Memorial. Memorial. The Norwegian Memorial. There we go. We're at that area. Um, and we've been looking for the memorial itself. But we haven't been able to find it yet. We found a bunch of camps and we found a couple places to go to the bathroom. Um, there's some privies in the woods. But we have not found the memorial. And... Uh, was something we were trying to do but we spent probably oh 45 minutes wandering around looking for it in and out of the woods and all we found is camp so far so if we find it we'll tune back in good morning everybody um didn't see much of us yesterday we 
We're running low on cell phone batteries and had a big push from just south of the Chilean Memorial all the way over to just south of the Yellow Banks. And we found this little hidey hole in the woods to set up camp and get out of the sun. It was a really brutal day yesterday. Um, we put in over 15 miles of trail in the blistering August sun. And the tide was not at our favor all day long. We uh, had to go over every overland trail um, to get around the cliffs and there was a whole bunch of up and down and crazy stuff happening. Uh, basically walking rocks for miles and miles and miles and miles. Uh, pretty slippery and uh, very slow moving. I think we were averaging about a mile per hour. Um, and man, looking at myself in this mirror you can tell we've been through it we still got a ways to go um, we're gonna be going past the yellow banks we're gonna fill up with some water and then our goal is to make it to Cape Lava today but once again um, we have not timed this right with the tide and we keep kind of getting a late start because we're putting a lot in every day and um, and these late starts aren't helping us because they're really early morning tides so we're going to try to get out of this bay before we're stuck in it for hours. Now we're just going to go um, fill up on water and then um, hit the road again. We'll check in with everybody once we get over to Ozette. We've got about 10 plus miles to do today before we can rest up again. We found some dinner. This is what I live for. And I'm kind of a big deal. Just leaving Sandpoint. Went through South Sandpoint. Took a little rest at Sandpoint. And now we're making our way across all this seaweed to Wedding Rocks. Wedding Rocks is the next stop. Probably take a little bit of a break down that way. And then uh, on to that. I don't think I'm going to turn this back on for wedding rock so i'll probably uh, do another video once we get to ozette this all this seaweed uh, along this entire journey has been an unexpected obstacle slowing us down it's okay through here but there's sections that are just where you got to crawl through all these rocks and they're covered with um very slippery stuff so slow moving but it is what it is hey guys we made it to Ozette, and uh, it's probably uh, about midday, and uh, the walk into this point was long but easy. A lot of it was uh, beach walking, sand and gravel, and this is the old ranger station from the Bacaw tribe. As we're walking on through here, I figured it'd be a good time to show everybody it's Actually, one of the coolest things I've ever seen on the trip, other than sea life, sand and lots of rocks, cool rock formations. And there's some other little abandoned buildings and stuff up in the woods if you're feeling motivated to go check them out. So, since we have plenty of time left in the day, we're probably going to try to make it to Seafield Creek and then camp out on Seafield Creek um, or somewhere near it tonight. And that'll get us ahead of schedule for having a very nice, relaxing uh, final day near the Point of Arches and Shai Shai Beach, which is definitely much uh, welcomed and earned at this point. So about three quarters of the way through the journey, just got, just got a little ways to go. Hey everybody, uh, morning of day five. Uh, we made it into uh, the North Ozette campground yesterday from just south of the Yellow Banks. And this is what it looks like. It's beautiful. We camped right on the river, got a little bit of a break from the crashing ocean waves and got some good sleep. Now we are once again racing the tide, kind of the moral of the trip here. And today we have timed it perfectly, uh, about an hour and a half before low tide and we've got to go, I don't know if you can see it from, from here with this crappy camera, but way in the distance there's a big rock formation, that's where we're headed. 
We're going to go up and over that and down into Shai Shai Beach. And that is our final destination for the trip. So we got a, another big day today. I'm going to put in plenty of miles and try to make it all the way over to Shai Shai Beach and set up camp and then enjoy our last night here. This is probably our last big block. Um, we're almost there. We almost made it. Hey, everybody. We made it. Yay. Through the Point of Arches is Shai Shai Beach. That was not for the faint of heart. Long morning. Uh, not too long of a walk, maybe three hours, but that overland trail that goes from uh, Shai Shai through the Point of Arches was pretty taxing, so be prepared for that. Um, but yeah, we're going to find a place to camp somewhere on this beach and enjoy our last day or our last night here before we begin our walk out in the morning. And um, we're just really excited to have made it to this point. If you guys are breaking off this entire trail like we are, um, congrats to you. This is uh, not an easy task, um, even for advanced hikers like us. It um, took some grit and determination to get through this whole thing, especially in the time that we did. We have done this in uh, roughly four or five days now uh, all together because the first day we only did a couple of miles and then just kind of rested and then from there we've been putting in 10, 15 plus miles per day and uh, we had originally planned on making this a seven day trip and uh, we managed to do it in five so um, I know that you could probably do it faster if you had a lighter pack and or maybe are a little bit younger um, <laughs> but uh we uh we did it in five so that's all for now um we'll talk to you guys again when i've got a cell phone charger and we're back in the vehicle there's a few miles of shy shy beach and then a trailhead up to the uh, car and everything after that so uh, but we're going to save a lot of that for uh, in the morning so that's all for now thanks for coming with us i hope you have fun and uh we're not vloggers or anything so excuse the crappy video and photos and all that and broken camera and lack of battery and all that but uh, hopefully you got some useful information out of this and um forward to seeing you guys on the trail <laughs>